Hey guys, this is Nathan from Team Panda Rate. Um, today we have for you a deck profile of the Kimono deck. Uh, just a quick note that when I made this deck, I've made it strictly Kimono, and that kind of made drown the deck drowned in its own effect. So I went through a couple different phases of changing up the deck. So this is like my most recent and most like deck competitive deck that I made of this. So just started. Okay, I run three soccer kimonos because it's a kimono, it does flip, and it's good if you go first. Like, if you play this turn zero, it's good if you're going first because even if, like, if heads, you get a draw card. If tails, it's not that big of a deal because when you end your turn, the effect will be gone. So, I don't like getting playing this when you're going second. I'd rather play something else, but it's still a pretty good turn zero. I run two 10 10 kimono. She's good like Sakura. And she's a 3-0, so she's a pretty good turn zero. Um, except when you get tails, you have to discard three cards. But sometimes that's good for like using cheat. Mill three cards. Yeah, you mill three cards. Discard I three use would be ridiculous. Two Hinata Huga Kimono. This is probably my favorite kimono because if you have a lot of flipping going on during your turn, you can mill your opponent's hand out. And but the bad side of it is if you get tails, if you get tails that, like you have to give a damage to one of your ninjas. You usually want to do that to one of your kimonos that has a valid effect, which Hinata kimono does not. Okay, I run three Shikamaru Nara. This is like could be a staple in any deck. Basically, when it dies from showdown, you get to search your deck for a permanent mission card and move it to your hand. I run three Otaru. She's good. I mean, she's amazing for this deck because you get a flip. Because she has a flip effect, which helps you with your kimonos. Plus, you could draw a card or give her a growth coin, which would make her a 4-0 on turn 0. I run 2 Eno Yamanaka, the healer. Um, I didn't really, like, it didn't really work out that well because I never really needed it. But it's better than the kimono one. And it gives your, it gives your females and medical ninjas plus one interest cost so it makes one turn earlier for hydro pump really good and yeah I run two Konohammer ninja squads I run these I just put these in um, they're pretty good for support and you get a draw card when you put it in play um, I realized the new um, the re the redone Sakura Tsunade squad from the Gen Con says that it has to have female in the characteristics, it doesn't have to only be female, so that's another reason why I'm running these. I run two Shizune Kimono. She's really good if you're doing, like, she's really good even if you get one heads. But, like, every time you get heads, you get to put a plus one, plus one. You get, all your females get plus one, plus one for the turn. But if you get, like, you do that three times in one turn, three flips from different effects, your ninjas are pumped up amazing if you're running, like, a lot of females, so... Yeah, this is probably the best card in the deck, Chio. Um, you can you remove from play Chio, and you get a ninja from your discard pile with an interest cost equal to your turn equal to or less than your turn marker, which is freaking amazing. Cause it's like okay, um, I use Eno's Tears to get Tsunade into the discard pile. Chio, I get Tsunade without paying hand cost into play. I run. Two Kurenai Kimonos, really good because it can stop your opponent because usually there's male ninjas that use Jutsus on your opponent's side field unless you're playing a mirror match. So it's pretty good for stopping that. And like the Tails effect is good either way, unless you're, you and your opponent draw, so there's really like no real bad effect for that card. I run one Sasori because I guess it's just it's just a good win card to have. I mean, if you have a lot of chakra and you take out one of your opponents and just, hey, you got a chump blocker or something that's useful, I don't know. You could take a soccer to squad with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ran two Tsunade kimonos. I have, I I go in and out between the slug Tsunades and this one. This one's good because if you have three or more females in the play, each turn you can get a juice from your discard pile and move it to your hand. That's amazing. And her first effect's pretty cool too. Um, pay one, you get a flip a coin, which sets off all of your your kimonos, and you get good effects for that. I use two six tails. 
Like these would work better if I had the slug tsunadis in here because I can get them out during the exchange of jutsu. But I like these still because I can just charge them and then they'll end up in the discard pile. And during turn six or seven, I can use Chio to bring it out with no hand cost, with without paying a hand cost for it. Okay, now for the missions, I use. Three Dreams of the Past. This is the mission you w must have in this deck for it to work right. Um, basically, it lets you reflip if you don't like the flip of your coins. And you get to do that. You get to retry twice for each Dreams of the Past in play. And plus, when you put in play, you get a draw card. So that helps with your drawing. I run three Bonds of Friendship. Basically, it helps you draw. And yeah, you get extra Chakra. I run two Eos tiers. Basically, any wind deck should be running these. Um, I haven't really needed them, but like in like desperate situations, I've used them. You get two ninjas, two wind ninjas from your deck. I use one fond memories. I would be running three, but I only have one. Basically, you get a draw card when you put in play, and you trash this card, and you get to choose the result of coin flips for that turn, which is a really good effect. What you can do on your opponent's turn. Yeah, it says, yeah, during the mission phase. So, mere match, guys. I use Daydreaming. I would be running three if if it wasn't a turn four, because it's a really good card, because you get to draw two cards, and you get to flip a coin, so that's good both ways. But if it was lower than a turn four, I'd be running three, but I only run two because it's a turn four. Okay, now onto the Jutsus. I run two Big Bang. I would be running three, but I don't have another one foil, so I'm kind of stingy about that. And it gets you chakra like crazy and lets you draw. Good for cycling. Very good for cycling. I run two kick of anger. This is a really good card for female decks because you get to injure the target. And if it's a male that you're fighting against, you make it standby. If your interest cost is higher than it. So it's kind of like knockout blow if you guys know what that was. It's not legal anymore for... for it's like knockout for, blow plus... Uh, yeah. Super slap. Ferocious Punch for females. This is for female decks. You Jutsu Negation, and you give your you give one damage to the target. So you're basically negating the Jutsu and slapping them in the face, saying no. And if you have Tsunade, it's like an instant kill. It negates their Jutsu and get, does no. It doesn't do an instant kill. It gives them a battery. It gives you a battery award if you're using Tsunade. But it can kill ninjas. Yeah, but it, it can kill ninjas. It gives one damage. Two Infinite Embrace. Best card that I've seen yet. Because it's just amazing, especially for this deck, because you get to flip a coin when you use the effect. Either way, it's a good card, because the card's either going to go to the chakra or the hand. And then if it goes to the hand, you get a draw card. So this is good for flip, because it sets off your kimonos. Um, one flamethrower, I was going to run two, but it seems kind of a high cost. It's really good if your opponent has an injured ninja, you burn it, and you get a draw card. And anybody can use it, which is good. Hydro Pump, every wind deck should be running a Hydro Pump. It's only limited to one, but I mean, it's like the best it's like jutsu out there now. So yeah, you take out two of your opponent's ninjas. Um, okay, that's it for the deck. Um, for my sideboard, I'm running two reanimation, two slug tsunades, which gets out the six tails on turn six after you play this during the exchange. So yeah, three hinas to take out missions of my opponent if they're running a mission hard deck like a vanilla deck which is crazy you get locked out if they're running Senji versus Uchiha delicate operation if they're running a lot of heavy jutsu like um, if they're running like like snake sword or um, Ross and Shuriken you negate it moves it back to their hand even though if they can they can still you can they can still play it again but I mean like it takes out a lot of their chakra and in the long run that that's a good thing. And then for the one squad, I got Sonata Sakura. The only reason, I don't really like the effect because it never helps me out that much. But I mainly use it because it has mastery. And I can just re keep recycling Hydro Pump for the game. Okay, guys, that's my deck profile. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope you like the deck profile.